In this video, we're going to be talking about installing the version 32 onto your PC. And if you have a network server license, you'll also be able to install it all through here. So I'm going to start off by just double clicking on this download. Now, if you have a disk, you're just going to drop the disk in your CD drive, close it. And eventually a page usually pops up over here down at the bottom of your screen and asks you to run that disk. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this installer here. And then when it loads up, all I'm going to do is choose English, but we also have German, Japanese, Spanish, and Turkish. So I'll go ahead and hit next. Right here, it's just going to do a little preparation for the installation. And then when it pops up here, you have welcome to the version 32 install shield wizard. So we go ahead and just hit next. Right here, we can accept the terms of the license agreement and go next again. And then right here, we have two choices. If you want to just let Bobcat install everything as it does, just put it on the computer. Just go with a complete install. It's going to put it on your C drive. It's going to put the data folder inside the C drive and put the program files inside the program files on the C drive. But if you want control over that or where they go, especially with these new computers because they have solid states and some have a mixture of different drives, you can go to custom. So from here with custom, we just hit next. And if you're doing a complete, you just hit complete and then hit next and it pretty much takes over from there. But in this case, I hit next for the custom install. Now, if you're installing this on a server first, you're gonna wanna open this up, uncheck the Bobcad cam in the NC editor and just put a check mark on the Bobcad cam license server. And then you're gonna next your way through and this is what's gonna be installed onto the server. Then any user that's connected to that server with the server licenses on their PCs, you're going to be able to go in and do a Bobcad cam and an NC editor installation. Or if your computer is the server, you're going to turn on all three. And then that's the three you're going to run. So then you hit next. Now, right here, first, we're going to set up where we're going to put our settings folder. So this is where we're going to put everything for the program files. And this is really where we run the EXE from so if you have a solid state drive this is where you'd want to go and browse and go in here and find that solid state drive that's listed in here now in my case i don't have another drive so i'm just going to run the c drive and i'm just telling it to put it in its normal position that's its normal spot i'm basically going to be doing a standard install but if you were going to go in and move this to say a d drive or another kind of drive maybe a solid state or just another drive you would go and pick the proper destination folder and then hit next. Now what we're bringing in is the Bobcad cam data folder. So this is where we store all of our information. So this is going to be our entire data folder. So it's going to have our machines, our posts, our examples, all the files that we need to work with in Bobcad. The other folder, the one previous is going to be the software actually running. So if you're able to put that on a solid state drive, it's going to run a little bit quicker. This one doesn't need to run too fast. So you can put it back on your C drive or you can browse and put it on your solid state drive or wherever you want to place that. After we have that one set up, if you're installing the license network as well, this is where you have your license server and you can tell it where to place the server. After you have all this stuff in, you hit next one more time. You then have your NC editor folder and you're just putting it wherever you want. So I have my program files and I'm going to tell it where to put that NC editor. Again, if you want this to load and work a little bit quicker, try throwing it on your solid state drive if you have one. If you don't, pretty much just run it wherever you're going to put it anyway. And then hit next. Right here, we finally get to the point where we get to install the software. So I'm just going to hit install. It's going to bring up a loading bar and it's just going to start loading across the screen. And here we go, we'll see it start extracting some files. And then there it goes right there. So we're just gonna let it start running through. And eventually it's just gonna run really fast through this. Usually doesn't take too long to install the software. And we'll see it's now installing the files, everything it needs. Those are a lot of demo files. You'll actually be able to read it. So it's installing examples, title blocks, Bob Art files, all the files that are going to go inside the Bobcad cam data and then inside that program files folder as well.
And then finally, when it all finishes up, we have the install shield wizard complete. We can hit finish. And that's going to finish the installation for version 32. And so for me, it popped up on my other monitor. So I'm just going to drag it over here. And there's our V32 software that we can then double click to launch. And then after the software loads, it opens up, it should prompt you to register it. But if you haven't gotten the prompt, you can go over here to file and then you can go down to activate license. So right here we can say activate license. And this is what the installation is going to be other than you will have an option to get a demo version as well. So if you click on the demo, you can actually next your way through request a demo license. And the way you do that is you give us your email and then you click send and we'll send you an email with a demo license on it. In this case, because I'm connected to the internet, all I'd have to do is say register automatically via the internet and then hit next. And right here, I'd enter the license ID and password off of my invoice. And you can usually find them down at the bottom left-hand corner of the invoice under all of the options. You'll have your license IDs and passwords. You enter them in here, and then you hit next. And if the license ID and password hasn't been registered before, it'll pop up and tell you that it's successful. If it's already on another computer, you won't be able to install it on a second computer. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit back. If you don't have internet on the computer, you're trying to register. You can say, I want to register manually via email and then hit next. And in here, you'll have to save a file from this PC, take it to a computer with an active internet connection to email us the file in order for us to send you the file back. So all you have to do is type in your license ID and password from your invoice, save the file, Email it as an attachment to licenses at bobcad.com and then you'll receive a reply. You'll say open and you'll open up the reply attachment. And then once you open that reply and it's been loaded, you'll hit next. And if everything works perfectly, it will register. Otherwise, it's just going to bring me right back here because I didn't have anything going on. So then I could cancel out. Now to take the license off of a computer and bring it somewhere else. So if you want to move it to a new computer, you want to take it off this one, maybe you get a new one, whatever happens. All you have to do is get to help and then go down here to transfer license. And right here, you have two ways again, either via the internet or via email. The steps for the email are pretty much the same. You're going to save it and send that in and we're going to deauthorize it for you. If it's via the internet, you just hit next and then you just click transfer right here. You don't even need to know the password. All you need is the license ID. You transfer it off and you can move it on to another PC. And there's no limitation on how many times you transfer this off, as long as you remember to transfer it off before you move it back to whatever PC. So if you take it home for a weekend, you got to make sure on Sunday night or Monday morning to take it back off the computer you brought it home for and bring it back to your PC back at the shop. Other than that, we can cancel out. And there's our version 32 all installed. And that concludes the video on the V32 installation and licensing from inside Bobcad version 32.